There are eight Chrome tips that you will actually use to make your browsing experience a lot better. Some are right there, but you're probably not even aware of them, whilst others need to be enabled, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. There is also a bonus setting for those who have a slow internet connection and want faster download. So let's get into it. Right, let's start by launching Chrome, and instead of going to a regular URL, you're gonna type this, Chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags and press enter. It will bring you to this page which says experiments. Essentially what these are, these are flags that Google is testing internally and with the help of people that have enabled them. And some of these things will actually make it to the next update of Chrome. Now, of course, you can reset everything so you can't screw anything up. And then when you relaunch your browser, everything is back to default. So with that safety in mind, let me show you which flag to enable. Most of us tend to work with Chrome and work with multiple tabs. Now, the more tabs that we have open, it starts to getting a little confusing, a little bit messy of what's on each page. So here's what you do. You go to your flags page and under the search, you type hover, H-O-V-E-R. And what that brings up is something called tab hover card images. Shows a preview image in the tab hover cards. Let me show you what that means. Click on the default, click on enable, then little button there to relaunch your browser. When it pops up, looks like nothing has changed. However, if you hover over each one of these tabs, you're gonna get a little preview of what that tab actually has. Super, super useful, especially if you have loads and loads of tabs open. Okay, next up, you're browsing your favorite article or blog and you're reading it, but ah, you got all the stuff flying in all around you. No, it's not an ad blocker, it's even better. Go back to your experimental page and type there reader and there's something called enable reader mode it allows the viewing of simplified web pages click the default click enable before you relaunch your browser i want you to keep an eye on this little bar here now let's relaunch the browser and head back to that particular blog post okay and i'm going to press this new icon that has popped up called reader mode click on that and now watch what happens to the page it just removes absolutely everything. And now you can just focus on the article that you're trying to read. In fact, there's a little bit of customization you can do. You can actually change the background color so it maybe is easier on the eyes. You can make the fonts bigger and I know that's gonna help a lot of people. So you know on YouTube, if you click your little profile and then you'll have an option called appearance and appearance basically has an option of how you would like to see your YouTube. Do you want to use dark mode, light mode or the default theme that your Windows actually uses? Now you can select dark mode on YouTube, but as soon as you leave YouTube to another website, obviously dark mode doesn't carry through. So how do you get dark mode to go across all your web browsing experience and not actually touch your Windows theme? Well, let me show you exactly what you need to do. So you go back into your Chrome flags and under the search flag option, you're gonna type dark and then auto dark mode for web content pops up. Now, same as before, default, change that to enabled and then relaunch the browser and guess what? Everything now is in dark mode without touching your Windows themes at all. Now, if this is too much, it's too dark, you don't like it, you wanna undo it, no problem. Just go back to your Chrome flags and instead of having enabled, select default, relaunch your browser, and as simple as that, you've just undone what you've just done. The next set of tips are right there inside your browser and are very, very underrated. Check us out. So you have multiple, multiple tabs open and now you're trying to find that piece of information in one tab, you're not sure where it was. Well, there's a super simple way to do it and it was right there in front of you all the time. The little drop down arrow next to your maximize and minimize button. It shows you your open tabs, shows you your recently closed tabs and when you go to the top of that, whatever you type in your search, it will look for it in the tabs that you have open. How epic is that? Right, we've all done this. You start reading an article, something comes up and you wanna get back to it later. So what do you do? Well, what you do is go to this little button called the reading list. And all you're gonna do is click on add to tab and it's gonna basically save that. You can add as many tabs as you need to. And what's nice about it is you can mark things as red and it will even keep things marked as red. And then of course you can remove them from here. So think of it as a temporary bookmark or a permanent bookmark with your reading list. You start doing something on your computer, you have to head out, so you wanna continue doing it on your phone. Well, did you notice this little icon, share this page? Click on that 
and now choose send to your devices. Wherever you're logged in with that Google account, then you'll be able to send this page to. And on your phone, you'll receive a notification and are able to read the page. Now, it does work the other way too. From your Chrome browser on your device, if you find a page you wanna continue reading on your desktop, click the share button at the top, click on send to your devices, select your desktop, and then when it sends it, on the desktop itself, you see a little pop-up notification and you can pick up where you left off. This one is super handy, especially when your computer reboots out of the blue for no reason or post a Windows update. Let's just say I've got these three pages open. Look what you can do. You can go to the three little hamburger menu dots there, scroll down until you see settings. Then on settings on the left-hand side, on startup, click on that. And now instead of opening your default page, which in my case is google.com, I can actually select the option to continue where you left off. No, seriously, this is a game changer. Try it. Anytime you close your browser and you open it back up again, whatever you had open is simply there again. Next up, let me introduce you to Control Shift T and Control H, two very useful shortcut keys. You open up a new tab, you find a video that you wanna watch. Oh, there's Ryan, let's just see what he's up to. And then you wanna open up another tab and by mistake, you click on the little X, you've just lost where you were. Thankfully, no need to panic. All I'm gonna do is right click at the top there next to any tab and click on reopen close tab and I'm back to watching Ryan's content. Another option is Control Shift T. Press it as many times as you like to reopen all your closed tabs. So we all know that if you wanna see your history, simply click on the three little hamburger menu and then select history. Pretty useful, but a bit of a mission to get here. Not if you know, Control H. As soon as you press Control H from anywhere, straight into your history. Now, if you want your Chrome downloads to be faster, just enable this. So remember the flags, go back into our flags page and type parallel. As you'll see, there's something called parallel downloading. And what it does is that when it downloads its files from the internet, it's gonna download it in a more efficient way. Realistically, if you enable this, if you've got a slow connection, you may find a difference. If you've got a pretty fast connection, I'm not really sure you're gonna feel anything, but it's worth mentioning. Do you have any other Chrome tips? Please share them in the comment and check out five things your USB drive could do. Also check out this video over here that YouTube thinks you should absolutely watch next. Hit the head down here to subscribe and I'll see you in this video or this video, or I'll see you in both. Let's go.